So, subject this evening is political street art. Brexit. I must say one thing about Brexit um, from the point of view of a street art fan was how disappointing it was that street artists did not engage with the issue of Brexit. And when we have a general election, it's generally a very exciting time because we get much more passionate, uh, meaningful and very sincere art about the political issues and all the political issues come out and get reflected in street art. Brexit didn't. And I think that this is a sort of it's, 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 it's a confirmation bias, I, I, I feel. Uh, so many street artists uh, and artists in general, all of their friends, all of the other artists that they were seeing were all going, you know, well, who on earth is going to vote to leave the EU? And uh, if you feel that everybody is uh, of the same mindset as yourself, then it, it seems like a, a done deal. So for many people, the referendum result was a little bit of a shock. Uh, a year after the referendum result, Banksy reacted. Now, the original EU flag had these 12 gold stars on there, each one symbolising one of the uh, founder members of the EU. Okay? And you've got this trick of the eye character seemingly on a ladder that's painted on the wall, chipping away at the one star which represented the UK leaving the EU. The genius of the piece was its placement. It was right at the entrance to the port of Dover, which is just about our most significant um, cargo uh, sort of uh, connection uh, and passenger connection to the continent. Okay, The shortest crossing of the, uh, the English Channel is at uh, Dover. So brilliant placement by Banksy. Um, nice art, too late.